All right, welcome back. Today we're looking at S136, the protocol for respiratory distress. We'll start off by ensuring a paid airway and reassuring our patient. O2 saturation as needed, O2 or ventilate as needed. May assist patient to self-medicate own prescribed meter dose inhaler one time only. Base hospital contact required prior to any repeat dose. For hyperventilation patients, coach and reassure them. Remove the patient from the causative environment and consider an underlying medical problem. For toxic inhalation, including carbon monoxide exposure, smoke, gas, etc., move the patient to a safe environment. Provide 100% oxygen via mask. Consider transport to a facility with a hyperbaric chamber for suspected carbon monoxide poisoning in the unconscious or pregnant patient. Respiratory distress with croup-like cough, we may aerosolize saline or water, five milliliters via oxygen-powered nebulizer or mask, and we may repeat that as needed. These notes down here apply to firefighter paramedics or paramedics just in general. That's it for the BLS side on respiratory distress. Although it doesn't really look like much, this is actually quite a bit. Make sure you guys know this in and out. Make sure you know what a meter dose inhaler is. When we talk about a meter dose inhaler, we're really talking about rescue inhalers. We're not really talking about a maintenance inhaler, specifically inhalers containing albuterol. So make sure you guys know the indications for the use of a meter dose inhaler. And when they say assist the patient, that's because it has to be the patient's own prescribed meter dose inhaler. We don't carry those. All right, so this was S136, Treatment Protocol for Respiratory Distress. We'll see you on the next one.